Hi, I'm Paddy, uh, also known as Wolfpaw, and uh, this is our village. We've been living here for about 10 months now. Um, it's not been easy, it's been very hard working against the elements sometimes. Uh, but we're here to try and, well, to create um, a sacred teepee village. Um, a place that people can come to to escape the madness out there, um, to, to work on themselves, learn about themselves, and uh, to heal themselves. It's a beautiful area. It's lovely and peaceful and surrounded by beautiful views everywhere we look. Um, still lots of work to be done. And uh, we are open to visitors at the moment. Um, so if you want to come along, get your hands dirty, help us in our mission, uh, you're more than welcome to. Um, on, on top of the, as well as the teepee village and the work to be done in erecting the teepees and preparing the land around them, uh, we've got a lot of other projects on the go as well. Um, it's growing season now, so we're working in the polytunnels, getting lots of growing, lots of veggies, getting food in the ground. We're working on our water problem because being on the top of a hill we haven't really got um, plumbed water up to the top so uh, we're working around that as well um, building compost loos which has been fun <laughs> and learning how to work with alternative energies something that's new to us uh, We've been working in mainstream jobs all our lives and we decided we'd had enough of that. It's time for change. Uh, we wanted to take matters into our own hands. Um, all bet between what my wife and myself, you know, we've had different ideas. Uh, she's very much into the alternative building methods and, uh, and the growing the permaculture. Um, so over the last few years we've been studying, trying to swat up our, you know, our knowledge on, on these things. Um, but we realise that it's all been in preparation for this. Uh, I'm, I've always been a, a spiritual sort of guy. Always been very much in, in touch with the spirit. Uh, it's, over the years it's driven me to to do this, to, to create this this village. So at the moment we are living our dreams, which is which is nice, but it is physically demanding. Um, there's only been a, a small number of us working on these projects, and uh, we haven't really got the skills or knowledge, other than what we've learnt through books and watching videos. Um, and it has been a challenge very much at times. You know, sometimes we haven't got the tools or the materials. So every little helps. We've had to go scrounging and uh, trying to find bits and pieces here and there. A lot of times we've been lucky. Found just what we needed. Um, other times it's been a struggle and we've had to just adapt and modify as best we can. There is people out there with that sort of knowledge, experience, you know, we'd, we'd welcome any help from them. Or if people have got things that they've got lying around that they, they're not going to use, you know, I'm sure we can put them to use up here. So, um, living out there for so many years, 
and working in mainstream work in the rat race. Um, it got to a point where I could see the illusions of, of this lost society, and it is lost. It's out of control. It, it led me to, to take a leap of faith. We quit our jobs, um, sold our house, moved our entire family to this beautiful place. And we've invested our whole lives, you could say. Everything I had invested out there in, in, in that world. Um, and I've invested into teepees. Uh, it was an easy decision to make. But I, I, I felt I was being driven and I was pushed in the direction. and. I, I, I had to put faith in the spirit in doing so, and it's been, so far it's paid off. It's been a beautiful journey. Um, what we want to, well, what I want to bring to this place is um, the old teaching, things that we've forgotten along the way, things that we've been distracted from. There's so much wisdom in, in the ancient teachings, if, if we look at them and if we try to understand them and apply them to our lives. I mean, I found it made a, a huge difference to my life. There was times when I was, I felt lost. I didn't know which way to turn and I found, you know, that it was destroying me and it was destroying my life. Uh, so when I decided to, to make those changes and, and live in accordance with the teachings, it, I, I felt um, that's what I was missing in my life. And I, I understand that like, if people did come here and experience our lifestyle, they'd probably find what they've been missing in their lives as well. What we want to do from here is we want to teach, we want to heal, and in our own way, put back what you know the things that we've taken. Um, give energy back to the earth, the earth that we've we've raped, and tortured, destroyed. Um, learn to work in harmony with with nature, with the elements, and with everything on it. Uh, bring balance back to our lives. Um, teaching to the medicine wheel can, can help us in doing so. And um, live, live our lives the right way, the way that we were designed to on this planet. We weren't designed to destroy everything on it. We were put here to, to, to know our place and to live in harmony with everything, not to try and conquer it because we don't understand it. And the things that we don't understand, we fear. So if we took the time to sit and be on this planet and look at the beauty and take time to, to speak to the animals, speak to the birds and get to know them. Because like I said, the things that we don't know we don't understand, we fear. And the things that we fear, we conquer or we destroy and try and control. And I believe that this is mankind's biggest downfall in life. We've allowed ourselves to become distracted by TV and football and anything that will distract us away from ourselves. We learn to understand ourselves, we learn to understand our place, and we can make steps to live in harmony and to bring balance back into our lives. So that's what we're about up here on, on the hill, 
in the teepees. We want to bring back dance, we want to bring back music, we want to bring back giving thanks every day for the, the blessings that we receive. And we understand that everybody's got their own traditions. I personally like I I relate more to the Lakota traditions, the Lakota way of life. But that's just me. There's so many cultures, traditions, teachings. And everybody's right. All those ancient people are right, the Celtic people, the Aboriginal the Aboriginal people. We've all got same sort of beliefs, same sort of ways of doing things. And this it's only through the society that's brought the divisions, that's destroyed those things, and turned people against each other. So if we go back to tribal way of living, we can restore these things. We can restore it by moving away from this new modern way of living. We need to bring back and recreate and mend the sacred hoop, the hoop of all people, the hoop of all nations, all colors, all creeds. And we need to unite. Now's the time. We shouldn't be divided. We shouldn't be turning on each other. We should be loving each other and accepting each other for who we are. So I invite, invite you all, hope that you come, to learn a little bit more about us, and come and enjoy some of the beauty that's here.